Yeah. Uh, but this kind of transitioned us into the other side of the coin. So we've looked at what not to do. Let's look at what we should do when we come to a disagreement with our spouse. And the first one is present a unified front. So Lysander and I are not on opposite sides. We're not in competition with one another. We are we're on a team. Mm-hmm. And so we we together, we put on a unified front. We're on the same side. And so the, the goal is not to win. And me personally, the goal is not for Lysander to win. The goal is for us as a couple and as a family to win. Mm-hmm. So we want to come to a unified decision together. Um, so we don't, we don't put off an air in front of our kids that we're in opposition to each other. Um, and I like what your parents did when they were discussing things is they would go into private as best as they could. Mm -hmm. And we understand how it is when you live with people. Um, your kids are going to overhear things, uh, things you don't want them to hear. They're going to overhear Why? Because we, we all live in a confined space, but as best as you can, you, you go off into, this leads us to the second thing, discuss the disagreement in private. Like you don't need to have an argument in front of your kids. Um, now there's times where you have to discuss things in front of your kids. You know, if you're you brought this up Sunday during the mm-hmm. message, Lysander. Yeah. Like if you're in the if you're in the car and we've had times where we're traveling because we just I mean we went on a road trip for like three weeks with friends of ours. <laughs> so we're in the van a lot. Yeah. And so there's times where we have to have discussions in front of our kids. Um and how we how we handle that discussion is important. As best as we can, we we don't argue in front of the kids. Um, we go to a private place and we we take care of things. Um, number three is discuss the disagreement calmly and lovingly, because guess what? You you're rarely alone in a family of six. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so my kids are going to hear me. Um, they're going to hear how I talk to my wife. Mm-hmm. They're going to hear how she talks to me. Um, even if they don't know what we're talking about, if they hear me shouting, if they hear anger in my voice, like they understand the, the, what that means. Mm-hmm. Um, if you're, you're in the car and they're sitting right there, I mean, it's important. It shouldn't matter if anybody's around. You should still discuss it calmly and lovingly. Like that's the proper way to disagree with one another. And then fourthly is be honest with your spouse about your thoughts and feelings. Um, don't, don't withhold information. Like, that's not a loving thing to do. Um, once again, we, we, we're not trying to win an argument. We're trying to resolve a situation or a conflict. Mm-hmm. So in order to do that, we need all the information that's involved. So Lysander needs to hear my thoughts and feelings on, on the situation. I need to hear hers see her side of the story and the situation so that we can together come to a resolution. Um, and, and those are the things that we, we ought to be doing when there's conflict. You know, that last point had me thinking about um, Isaac and Rebecca in this situation. And it just makes me wonder what would have happened if Rebecca would have come into the tent and said, Isaac, I really respect you and I appreciate your opinion on this, but I really think that Jacob should receive the bigger blessing. And, um, you know, here's why <laughs> makes you wonder like, what would that have looked like yeah. if they, if they had a mature adult discussion about and, it? And maybe she tried. I don't, we don't really know. It doesn't appear that way though, based on the character that we read. I, I just don't, I don't see it that way. Yeah. But, um, and you know, this, this whole, um, being honest about thoughts and feelings, in a disagreement was something that I personally had to work on at the beginning of our marriage because I believed I was doing the right thing and being the peacemaker when I would say, yeah, yeah, it's fine. Okay. It's fine. I was whatever just trying to say yes, you know, just trying to keep peace, let him get his way so that there would be peace. And what I realized is that was a form of lying. And I had to, I had to start speaking the truth in love when we disagreed about things. And I had to just say respectfully, like, I love you and I really respect you, but this is why I, I just don't think that that's the right decision or that's, this is why I think we should do this instead. And we had to, we had to have conversations like that frequently yeah. because yeah. parents disagree. Well, and part of the situation there was based upon my experience and my own competitive nature, 
I was a win at all costs. That's the mentality that I had. Yeah. And that's what you saw in your house. Um, so you take your, your conflict aversion and peace loving nature, combine that with somebody who's a win at all cost. And <laughs> you're going to, you're going to have a lot of issues unless yeah. both of you can recognize what's taking yes. place and each of you on your own take steps to to write yeah. the situation. Yeah, you have to understand your weaknesses. And you know, um, it's funny because when you describe it that way, it kind of sounds like we were a match made in heaven. You win all the time, I lose all the time, and everybody's still happy. No, yeah, but that's not it, happiness. It does not work that way. Yeah. You weren't happy, no. No, no. And were you happy? I mean I'm, I'm <laughs> you happy. were like I was winning. <laughs> I'm happy with you all the time. It was less it was less work because I didn't really have to talk about my feelings and everything, but we weren't as close as we are now because okay. we we've learned and have grown from each other and towards each I, other. I agree with that. So you don't look back in the rearview mirror like, man, I miss those days when she was just a yes woman. No, not at all. Okay. Not at all. 